So you want to learn how to make this super light pizza done with cup soda? Keep watching this video. Good morning everyone and welcome to another baking video. Today I'll be baking pizza. Yes, one more time. Which are the normal ingredients that you use when you bake pizza? Flour, salt, yeast and water? No, today we'll be using club soda with a siphon. So let's do this. The idea of using club soda in this new recipe, which is kind of a new experiment, is to get to achieve a new kind of dough, more airy, spongy or more fluffy, and of course, light. This is nor a focaccia, neither a Neapolitan pizza. It's something maybe in between. That's what I am trying to find out. So. What do you think it will start with the recipe? So I present to you the club soda formula. Remember that you can download my app, the Gluten Morgan Baker's Percentage, free for iPhone and Android. And then you can add this recipe into my app. So what we have to do first is a pre-ferment. Today we'll be making a sponge, which is kind of a polish, but it uses a little bit more of yeast. So it will ferment faster. So let's start with that. To make the sponge we first need a container. We put the flour, then we add the yeast and now comes the best part, the club soda. Don't be afraid. And now with my Danish whisk we start mixing the dough. It is very foamy and at the same time very airy. Everything mixed and now we cover it and let it rise till it triples in size. Let's go! So now that we have the sponge, it's time to start with the dough. In the mixer bowl, we go first with the sponge. Now we add the flour, the semolina flour, the whole wheat flour, and the salt. We prepare the paddle and start the machine. Now it's time to add some more club soda. With a siphon, better. Speed number two. Now that the gluten is already developed, olive oil goes in. And we're done. <laughs> now that the dough is ready, we put it in another bowl and we do some stretching and foldings. Now we cover it and we're done. And that is all for today. Now what I'm going to do is to take the dough to the fridge and it's going to rise really, really slowly until tomorrow. See you. Good morning everyone again. And here is the dough after 24 hours in the fridge. <laughs> Take a look at these bubbles. That was a club soda. I'm going to use this pizza baking tray, which is slightly oiled. And now I unmold the dough. Take a look and see how much air it has. It is full of bubbles. That's a trick by using club soda. So now I stretch it carefully till I cover all the tray. Now we are ready to continue. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment, and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. And now that the dough is already stretched, I will cover it with just one ingredient that it's going to go into the oven, the tomato sauce. But before we continue, we need to do something first. Remember, it is really important to preheat the oven. So I'm turning on my oven and setting the temperature to 460 degrees Fahrenheit. For the tomato sauce, we start with some crushed tomatoes. Now we add two basil leaves, a pinch of salt, some pepper, and now maybe a polemical ingredient, organic sugar. Just a little touch. Believe in me, it's going to be worth it. Now we mix all together and we're done. And now the pizza goes straight to the oven for eight minutes. And now that we're baking the pizza, let's prepare two toppings. The first one, a basil pesto. 
And the second one is already prepared. Mascarpone cheese. For the pesto we need basil, one clove of garlic, pistachio, parmesan cheese, and an excellent olive oil. In the mixer bowl we put the basil. Then we add the garlic, the pistachios, the olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. And now we start mixing. This is really easy. Eh? The cheese. Ah, the cheese. Now that we have all the ingredients, let's finish this. And we're done. Incredible. Wow. Did you see that? Wow. That's the Eclap Soda Power. Oh. And now some Parmesan cheese. Okay, let's check the base. How is it? Because I can't see. So leave me in comments what are you seeing right now. Wow, I feel like a pastry chef, but I'm a pizza chef. <laughs> Wow, take a look at this pizza. It's super light, airy, and these big pockets because of the club soda. <laughs> Incredible, a lot of air, and ah, the smell is amazing. The pesto, the mascarpone, and the tomato sauce. I think that this pizza is for the lovers of the pan pizza. Not that thing, not too high like a focaccia, something in between. Okay, time to try it. Mmm. I really like this kind of pizza. I know you can choose any other toppings, but I think that it's really interesting to bake the pizza first because I'm a dough man, and then try to put toppings when you took it out. It's more kind of Italian. And this pesto and the mascarpone, wow. So please bake this pizza at home and leave me in comments. What do you think about this new recipe with club soda? Of course, you need first to find the club soda or the siphon. See you on the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.